Word on the Run with Pastor Marius Wacht. Beloved, we are in day 48 of our 50 days to Pentecost. And today we are speaking about the demonstration of power. In 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4, the Bible says, And my language and my message were not set forth in persuasive, enticing, and plausible words of wisdom, but they were in demonstration of the Holy Spirit and power, approved by the Spirit and power of God, operating on me and stirring in the minds of the hearers the most holy emotions, and thus persuading them now if the spirit in the old testament came over god's people and anointed them with demonstration of power then how much more should the 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 power of the holy spirit not be upon us and the demonstration of power not be on us now in the new testament we see in the old testament where moses parted the sea in exodus 14:20 22 we see where he made water sweet according to exodus 15 we see that he let water flow from a rock in numbers 20 verse 11 we see elijah how he made uh, a miracle where the the the, uh, the flour and the oil uh, kept uh, 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 going and uh, we see that he raised a boy from the dead in first Kings 17 we see that he prayed fire from uh, on high onto the altar in first king 18 we see in the life of elijah where he parted the water in second kings 2 verse 14 where he healed waters in second kings uh, chapter 2 we see that he um, made a valley filled up with water in second kings 3 we see that he raised the child from the dead in second kings 4 and he healed naaman who was leprous in second kings 5 now, how much more should we not operate and demonstrate the power of God now that we have the Spirit living in us permanently? So, uh, the Bible says in Acts 2 verse 17 that all flesh will receive the power of God. He says, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and that all flesh is limited to the believers, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as personal Savior. In 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20, that, there the Bible says, it says, For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. So we are supposed to see signs and wonders. I believe that what the Bible says in Mark 16, 17 to 18, he says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. He says, In my name they will cast out devils. And there are so many scriptures that can confirm this because that's what Jesus did. And then we must also know that the Bible says, and they speak and they shall speak in new tongues. And we see that that's what happened in Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 10, and also in Acts chapter 19. We see that the Bible says they shall take up serpents and they, even if they drink something deadly, it shall not hurt them. And we see that in the life of Paul in Acts chapter 28, verse 3 to 6 where an adder, where a snake bit him in his hand. Everybody was waiting for him to die, but he didn't die. And so people came to repentance because of that demonstration of power. We see that the Bible says they will lay hands upon the sick. And we see that demonstrated by the apostles. Peter and John, who prayed for a man and he was uh, uh, raised. And uh, we see Peter uh, healing people. We see Stephen healing a man. We see Philip healing a man. We see Paul re healing many people. And therefore, you and I must know that God is still the God that can heal the sick. He's still Jehovah Rapha. He's the one that wants to operate in power and heal the sick. Now, we have received the gifts. The Bible says God gave. He says to, to one he gave the working of miracles, to the other prophecy, to the other discerning of spirits, to the other diverse kinds of tongue, to the other interpretation of tongues. That's in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10. So we have received the gifts so that we can operate in the power of God. And the Bible says, and God has set some in the church, firstly apostles, secondly prophets, secondly, he says, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. That's what 1 Corinthians 12 verse 28 teaches us. 
Now you and I must know that God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will, says Hebrews 2 verse 4. So the church is supposed to be a power demonstrating gathering of people. Can I say this again? The church is supposed to be a power demonstrating gathering of people. Can we pray that God will do this in our church today? Let us pray. Father God, we thank you that the church can be and should be a power demonstrating gathering of people. And I, will, I pray that we will see more power demonstration in the days to come than ever before. And that your name will be glorified. That we will see signs and wonders and miracles happening in our midst, in our church meetings. And that your name will be glorified through the power of the Holy Spirit. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.